Welcome back. Today we are working on parts of the bug project. We're going to be tearing apart the old beam suspension that came out of this because of all of this rust. So there's plenty of good usable parts on this, so we're going to be breaking this thing down. This is what took this car off the road back in 1986. And this was probably done in the mid 80s, this uh, creative repair with the uh, u-bolt and a plate of steel that was welded in there so uh debbie was still driving this car on a daily basis up to 86 and finally our mechanic said uh you should stop driving this because of uh this rust so that's when the car got parked using the jam nuts these are 19 millimeter and then the grub screws can come out next that was an eight millimeter. Make sure the junk is out of them. Oh look, look how loose this one is already. Let's get loose in there with my fingers. Not that one. Fortunately, slide right out. Same thing on the other side. Torsion springs are made up of multiple layers of spring steel. And all retained by another grub screw in the center right here. You pull that out and slide the springs out. Springs should slide out. These were well greased, as you could see. That's why they came out easy. I'm going to zip tie these to keep them from falling apart while they are put into storage. You know, recycle your old shopping bags. That's what I like to do with mine. Have them wrap up springs. Almost reaches. Remove the end seals. I got a dull chisel just to kind of tap on. If you need to get the needle bearings out, these are good, but I'm just going to show you how I've taken them out before. I have a long threaded rod with a nut on it, it's three quarter inch. It'll stick out the other side. And you got to have long arms because you kind of hold the nut on the inside lip of the needle bearing and tap on it from the other side to slowly knock it out. This one is a uh, already freed up and it moved out and I'm going to finish it off. I'm holding it against the inner surface. And you got to move it around a little bit. High spot, go to a lower spot. There you go. Improvised tools. All right, let's try another one.
holding it down. Push it up. Got movement? Yes, good. Switch it to another spot. Bingo. Now the inner bearings are pushed in really deep. They're not needle bearings. There, there are metal, and I think there's like a plastic type of housing around it. I ground the end of the nut a little bit flatter so that it won't have the little rounded corners on it. So you should get a better bite on the inner part of the uh, bearing. Okay. Pull it back until you can catch it on one of the lips while you're pulling up on it and holding everything you're gonna smack on it and hopefully it'll more start to Getting there. There we go. Ooh. Okay, here's the bearing. It's got a metal insert and like a hard plastic outer sleeve. You can see it started to crack right there. Now, when you're driving it, this is what I was grabbing, just on that one little edge. So the nut's going to come inside, and then while it's in there, you may have to keep changing the direction of it so it doesn't want to get cocked as it's coming out. So it took a lot of hammering, but it did come out. If you have difficulty trying to get them out, you could get a torch and heat up the tubes a little bit just to loosen the bearing up, and then start working on them to get them out. I mean, these... You know, this car had 100,000 miles on it, and they're really not worn out really badly. So, if you don't need to change them, don't. So, there you go. All the inner and outer bearings knocked out with a three-foot-long piece of threaded rod and a three-quarter inch nut. If you like this video, please do me a favor. Give it a like, subscribe, and share, too. Thanks for watching. On the elevator of life, I keep a firm grasp on the up.